Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here. And today I want to show you five different variations of throwing the jab. Yes, the lead arm straight punch. It's usually the first attack that we learn, but depending on the angle and the trajectory in which we throw the punch, the mechanics are going to change a little bit. So let's take a look at different variations of the jab. Okay, now remember that each punch, each jab is thrown with different intentions, a different purpose. I could be using it just as a probe to get some sort of reaction out of my opponent. Well then I'm not going to waste a lot of energy and I'm not going to overcommit. I'm just going to sort of flick it out there to see do they like to parry, do they like to move their head, maybe they like to come over top and try to land a power shot. Or maybe I'm trying to put a little more power on my jab, well then I'm going to load my hips up a little bit more, train, change the trajectory, and put some oomph into that shot. Or maybe I'm going to use it like a posting arm and just stop them from coming in, the same way that a football player may run down the field and stop the opposing team from tackling them. Okay, so. Know what your intention is and use that accordingly with your jabs. So the first one's going to be an up jab. We see this usually in the Philly shell stance. Guys who keep the lead arm low. Floyd Mayweather, James Tony. From here, instead of bringing the hand up and then throwing the jab, making it a two-step process, just throw it right from here. So the hand is low, but it's going to come up this way into the target. Boom. Okay. The way I like to teach it, the way I like to throw it, is I lead with the elbow and then like a whip, like I'm throwing a towel or whipping a towel, then I extend the arm and hit with the knuckles. The up jab. Now the down jab is one that uh, Vasily Lomachenko likes to use. He puts a lot of power on this shot. And a lot of people will say when you throw the jab, don't chicken wing your arm. Keep the elbow in and just extend. And that's true. And with beginners, I definitely teach that as well. But you watch Vasily fight and he definitely chicken wings his arm when he throws his jab. And think about it. Let's say he tries to get to the outside, right? He uses that head movement. He comes out here maybe even pull, pause the hand down, and then he lifts this arm out and he shoots it down right into the jaw, right into his opponent's face. Think about it. If he comes out here and he doesn't do that and he keeps the elbow in tight, that's a weird angle, and I may just hit their forearm or hit their glove. I want to go around that, right? So instead of coming here, then I'll chicken wing it out, and I'm coming this way. I'm going to get more power on that shot just because of biomechanics, and I'm going to make sure that it actually lands, okay? The third one now is what some people call a corkscrew punch. Um, could be a long uppercut, could be an upside down jab. So whether you load up on the lead foot and twist the hips over and sort of hop into it like a gazelle punch, or if you just throw it right from here, boom, without over committing to it, it's a great way to set up the right hand. McGregor uses this one as well from the southpaw stance. So coming straight up here, I call it an upside down jab because the mechanics more so are like that than an uppercut, which is much tighter shot. I'm going to come here, just extend it out. Still making sure I make contact with the knuckles, right? So, just set it up, come right in between the guard. Okay? Next one is going to be a back fist now. In boxing, traditionally, you can't hit with the back of the hand. In MMA and Muay Thai, that's fine. So what you want to do if you're practicing for boxing is just turn the, the hand, turn the wrist a little bit so that when you actually throw this back fist motion, you're making contact with the knuckles, right? If we go here, it may look like a hammer fist which is okay, like I said, in MMA, in Muay Thai. But instead of hitting with uh, the pinky bone, which could lead to a boxer's fracture, right? I like turning it so that I hit with all four knuckles, okay? So it's sort of this back fist motion. This doesn't take much energy at all. So you can pump out a bunch of these. Now it's risky because this side of your face is open, but this is one you see TJ Dillashaw use a lot. And the way that he does it is he does chicken wing his arm and he just does this. Right, just to stick something in his opponent's face and to keep them at bay. So he'll throw a combo, whatever it may be, boom, and then he comes back. Just throwing those quick jabs like that, not using much energy at all. And then the last one, like we talked about in the beginning, is going to be that posting arm. So throwing the jab and then maybe leaving it out there and measuring the distance and keeping them at bay. And then they're probably going to try to come over top or go to the body. But now you can watch. you got something in their eye, and if you've ever had someone do this to you, you're doing this, right? Your eyes are closing. You're trying to get around it. You can't see. Your vision is obstructed. So you throw a shot, hit them with the jab, and then leave it there, right? Make sure you got the shoulder up high, the other hand is up high, and then watch to see how they react. Do they just back up and disengage? Do they try to come over top with the overhand right, to which you pull and then throw a right hand of your own? So the posting one is a great one. If you have MMA gloves, even if you have boxing gloves, and you can open them up, and what you can do is just literally use the palm of your hand. It's going to be a little more surface area. You can push on their face, on their trap, on their neck, control them. It could be on the shoulder. It could be on the trap. All right, so utilize that one. That one is awesome. Utilize all of them. 
All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Now, don't limit yourself to just these five. If you have to throw some weird hybrid uppercut back fist corkscrew jab in order to make sure that it lands, then do so. Yes, technique is super important and you have to master the fundamentals, but don't let perfect form inhibit you from landing your shots. All you're doing is putting your knuckles on your target. All right, don't overcomplicate things. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the underdogs.